Vendor Catalog Single Step Update. This is an exciting change to simplify your workflow. How does Vendor Catalog work? There is a list of parts that is off on the internet somewhere, often being able to be downloaded through FTP, but perhaps it's mailed to you or you obtain it somewhere by yourself. Either way, you usually get it into a file on your local machine. It could be a comma separated list, it could be tab delimited, but it's a file. That file then needs to be transformed into a database file that's compatible with eBMS. And then that database file is used to update eBMS inventory. eBMS supp supplies automation to download the file from FTP and to transform it into a database file. eBMS also supplies the automation to update eBMS inventory from that database file. But what you can see by the difference in arrow colors is it's not a one-step process. You create that DBF file, update that DBF file, but then it's a separate step to update eBMS inventory. In 8.4, we make that a single step process. A new checkbox will appear if your database file is a vendor catalog. Update inventory from modified vendor catalog records after importing. What does that mean? When you run an import through import-export mappings, the file is downloaded, is converted to a DBF, and updates eBMS inventory when that checkbox is selected. As an additional bonus, only the changed products in the catalog are applied, those modified vendor catalog records. What does that mean? Well, if you download new vendor catalogs every week or so, often maybe only 1%, 5%, maybe 10% of the actual parts have any updates. And so eBMS can take a very long time if you go through a catalog with 100,000 items to update eBMS inventory. But if you only update those change lines, it takes much, much less time to import the changes.